All right, so here's a little overview of what we have going on out here. It's your standard 306 inline turbo. Uh, pretty bulletproof motor from my understanding. I've uh, built imports in the past and small block V8s with turbos, and I wanted to do something a little different. So I figured I'd take my work truck and play with it a little bit. Uh, it's basically just a standard GT35 journal bearing turbo, nothing fancy. This is a very low budget build. Uh, with price of truck, I'm still in this thing less than five grand with everything in it. Um, there's not a lot available for parts. Most of everything that I've had has had to be made. Uh, right there, you can see I've located the turbo up next to the intake manifold, running a three and a half inch exhaust with uh, two inch up pipes going to the uh, collector on the turbo here. Uh, those are out of stainless to hopefully keep them from breaking under high heat. Currently, right now, the uh, wastegate that I have is a 50 millimeter. It's set at nine pounds of boost, and I am currently dumping it out the fender because I like shooting fireballs at people. Anyway, so back to the truck a little bit here. Uh, as you can see, I have the HD manifolds, which are highly recommended if you're going to turbo your vehicle. They flow considerably better than the uh, single output style. Um, as far as what's going on up top, this is pretty much just a stock engine. I've changed valve springs to a little bit stiffer spring just because the stock ones were a little little weak for my liking. A uh, little throttle body adapter there. The single throttle body I haven't quite finished with the adapter plate, so I just kind of whipped that out real fast just to get that done. Um, as far as management right now, I had to pull the Mega Squirt out. You can see my uh, harness is all opened up there. But... Uh, I have to change injectors once more. I had 47 pounds because I plan on running methanol on this thing eventually. But right now, it'll kind of fire up and run, but it's still a little rich. I recommend if you're going to build one of these and you're going to keep it under about 12 pounds of boost, you're probably going to be optimally sized at about a 30-pound injector. So uh, that's just a little bit of an overview. This is a stock block engine. There's nothing fancy done to it. All I did was go through, change the rings, bearings, and gaskets. And uh, we'll see just how much power this thing can uh, handle. Catch you up on a little more uh, informative video in the future here. Once I get back, I'm headed out of town today for work. I will change out the injectors and we'll give you all a running video.